Hello and welcome to Crazy Danish Hacker. Today we're going to look into how to identify GSM bands, or more specific, GSM downlink channels. So if we take a look at the GSM frequency bands Wikipedia page, we can see that these are the downlink channels or downlink frequencies, and these are the uplink frequencies. Downlink is when you're receiving data, and uplink is when you're sending data. Base means that that's the cell phone tower and that's your mobile phone. So in this case, I am on PGSM 900, which is pretty typical for Europe. While in the United States, you may be on this band instead. So let's have a look. We will need to look at for a downlink channel somewhere around here. So let's open SDR Sharp. And I've already connected my RTL SDR. So if we look at 935 first, 935, and we click play, it's not much. So here we have the first downstream channel or downlink channel, and here we have some potential channel hopping. And that's how it sounds like. So we can try and move on. Let's see some more channels we got here. Downstream, downstream, and downstream. And some more channel hopping right here, most likely. And let's see very strong channel hopping, I think it is. The more red it is here, the stronger the signal is. So let's let's uh, go up a bit further. Here we have a very very strong channel. You can see it's very very strong. It's probably the strongest channel around here. So this might be what my cell phone will be connecting to because the signal is very strong. Compared to this one is quite weak, and this one is not a little bit weak, but not too weak. And these uh, these uh, these downlink channels they can be picked up from 35 kilometers away. So the antenna could be 35 kilometers away, but in my case, I know that it is not so far away. So we can have a look for some more downstream channels and some more. This looks a bit atypical. A very strong one here as well. And this might be the same. Let's see. This could be some channel hopping too. For for downloading voice for example, people calling each other. And this could be another downlink channel. It doesn't look as typical as the others, but it could be. So that's how you identify GSM downlink channels. And coming up next, we'll look into doing it in Linux and sniffing some of the traffic. Stay tuned and subscribe.